Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you're all doing well. I, today we are going to be working on the second Saturday stash slash seven. Um, this is the June issue. This is an open collaboration sponsored by Maria from Maria Miscellany and um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six other ladies, myself included. Um, it's an open collaboration, um, and each month you get seven items, a list of seven items, and you're to make something from the seven items, or at least one of the seven, or two, whatever, but at least one of the seven items from the list, and each one of the hosts um, provides a list for a month. And then um, you make something, you can take a video, make a video or take pictures of it. And then um, you can um, add the video to the playlist and the, the address for the playlist is linked below. All these instructions are actually linked below. Um, so if you need help with anything, um, the, that's all, all the instructions are below. This is a super fun collaboration. If you still have further questions, you can contact Maria, uh, and her email is also listed below. So this is the June edition. So let me read the list and then I will get on with it. So June, um, this list is by Lori from her channel is Paint Girl Lee, and her her um, channel link is below, and then so is the June playlist. So this month we are to use a postage stamp, an embossing folder, washi tape, a heart, a die cut of your choice, a business reply envelope, and cheesecloth. All right, so that's what we've got to work with today. And please, please excuse my lighting. Um, it's terrible today. I've got shadows. It's dark. I had to turn a lamp on, and that's causing shadows. So please forgive me for that. I'll do my best uh, anyway. So this is a junk journal that I made in a little art class that I'm facilitating. And the, the point of this junk journal was truly to show the ladies how to make a journal out of absolute junk. I mean, nothing was purchased. It's just absolutely, you know, stuff that's pretty much junk. Calendar pages, you know, so on and so forth. So in this, uh, in my journal here, I do have a business reply envelope right here. And so it's just bound together. The journal's just bound together with string. So I thought I could go ahead and take this out and work on the spread for the uh, reply envelope, business reply envelope, because that is one of the um, items on our list this month is a business reply envelope. So you can see all I've done is opened it up. Okay, I just tore it open like this. Okay, so this is going to be the page that I'm going to be working on. Now, I have all my goodies over to the side here. This is the die cut that I thought that I was going to be using. Now, this die cut, as you can see, I believe my camera will pick it up, has a lot of texture, and yeah, you can really see it that way. I ran it through an embossing folder, okay? My embossing folder had all those flowers on it, all right? So that's how I'm using my the embossing folder because that was one of the things we needed to use too. So the envelope, the die cut, and the embossing folder, that's three of the seven things that we have. Then I've got my other goodies here, my cheesecloth, my tape, some hearts, postage stamps, and then I've got a couple scraps of um, scraps of uh, paper, uh, just scrappy paper. Some of it's uh, let's see, ledger paper, scrapbook paper, just odds and ends. Okay, I think there might even be some painty, yeah, painty paper in here. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make some kind of layout with this and try to incorporate all of this stuff in here. So. Um, now, with the hearts, with this heart kit, I think this die cut, these and these two pieces came in the same uh, ephemera pack that I got, and I don't have the pack with me, I'm sorry, but um, I thought that this little guy might make a nice little, well, it is a tab, so I thought that maybe I'd go ahead and, and attach a tab to this little page uh, in my journal, like that. <clears throat> 
And uh, so let me just go ahead and see what we got here. I need some stuff in the background, I think. And I pulled out some papers that uh, obviously coordinated somewhat, at least, with the paper, uh, the colors in the die cut here. So let's see here. Um, you know, I, what I don't have is a word or something, but I guess I can use the postage stamps. Is that too pink? I think that's too pink. I won't be using that one. How about that one? Is that too pink? That is also too pink. That, uh, that one, that one may work actually. That one's not so bad. And I'm sorry for the flickering. It's the lamp. It, I don't know why it, it does that, but it's doing that. And it's, I know it's annoying. So sorry about that. So I'm just going to be playing here and trying to figure out what I'm, what I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to incorporate all this stuff in such a small page. I, I think I'm only going to do the spread on this one side because I don't know what's on the other side in the book or in in the journal so I think I'm just going to concentrate on the one page uh, and put this out and before I'm I'm not being so brave I'm not just going to be slapping stuff down I'm kind of making a little bit of uh, headway here with a layout oh and I have my cheesecloth too I've got to be using that somehow um, let's see I wonder if that would, you know what, I think, okay, I'm going to be brave. I think I'm just going to put this stuff down, uh, these these three pieces down right here. I've got to get started somewhere and commit to something. Otherwise, I'll just be flapping around. Uh, let's see, let's use this glue here, though, if I can get this flowing here. Because this, these papers that I'm putting in the middle, these strips here, are actually cardstock. They're not paper paper. So, um... Yeah. And when I made this journal, this junk journal, I told the ladies in the art class, when you make a journal, any journal, um, it's a good idea, if you can, to to have an idea of what you're going to use the journal for, like how you're going to use it. Is it going to be a junk journal? Is it going to be an art journal? You know, whatever, because that will help you kind of figure out if you want pockets or you know how many pages you want or what you want the pages to be made out of or, or whatever this particular junk journal that I made I told them as I was making it that it was going to be an art journal so um, I made most of the pages are fairly substantial this envelope is probably the least substantial of all the pages but um, most of the pages I've reinforced and like this envelope here, I am kind of reinforcing it in a little way with this paper to make it a little um, thicker. But if I was going to be using any wet medium, like, you know, paint or something like that, I'd definitely put enough layers on the pages to make sure that um, I didn't, I don't have a tissue with me here, so I'm, my hands are going to get all sticky here, that you reinforce it enough for um, um, that, you know, no medium's going to get, uh, what, leak through or, or curl your pages too much or anything like that. You know, you want, you want to kind of be careful there. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy, I do want this tab on there because it did, like I said, it did come with the same ephemera pack as the flowers. And, you know, I bought these ephemera packs, I don't know when, oh goodness, Helen, you're getting glue everywhere. Um, I don't know when I bought these ephemera packs, but in all honesty, I don't really like them. And I don't know how I even thought that I should buy them. I, I have a feeling perhaps it was because they were inexpensive and, you know, sometimes they're like, oh, well, these are cheap. You know, I don't think I got a Tuesday morning because I don't remember that it has the Tuesday morning tag on it, but I might have, you know. So let me go ahead. I'm going to put the cheesecloth behind the die cut, I think. Let me see. Can I tear cheesecloth? No, not well. Okay. 
We'll just cut it. Okay, let's see how that is. And you might hear Holly in the background. She is in here with me and she's telling me that it's dinner time, but she's wrong. She still has an hour. Well, about half an hour maybe. Okay, is that too big of a piece of cheesecloth? Yes, Helen, okay. Yeah, that, that's a little liberal there. <laughs> Let's cut that down a little bit. Uh, cheesecloth is not the easiest thing to work with, but I love the results of using cheesecloth. I love how it looks. And I love that even if you cut it as straight as you can, you know, the edges, then you pull it and then it's not straight again. You know, it's, it's very fun to play with. Okay, it's getting big. I just, I just cut it all off and it's still way too huge. It's growing. All right, but you know, got this stuff I'm going to save for snippets to make, uh, not snippets, clusters to make clusters. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the thick edge on the outside because it just wants to curl up there. I don't know why. So let's see, how does that go with my, and actually, which way does this go? Is there a upside? Oh, I guess this way. Yeah, but I can't have it that way. It's got to go this way. It's too wide. This is my fold here. So I can't put it this way because, well, I could, but it sticks off. And I'm, I, I'm not, I, I really don't think I want it to stick off that much. It's going to stick off a little, but that's okay. All right, so like that. So I think that that's good, going to be good there. Okay, okay, stop pulling that cheesecloth out, Helen. All right, Lori, cheesecloth, really? It's so hard to work with. All right, there we go, cheesecloth. All right, so that'll be good like that. And now I still have a whole bunch of other stuff that needs to go on here. Um, let me see, I think that's supposed to be moved down like that. Let's move this down a little bit. It's all plunked right in the middle of the page, but I need to have room for all this other stuff to go on there. So let me... That's like that. And I don't care because it's an art journal. I don't care if my cheesecloth kind, kind of comes off the side. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Like that. Now, I have the the heart. I have two hearts to pick from here. I've got this very shiny, um, it's glittery. And then I've got this one, which is, whoops, which is foiled. There you go, foiled. That came with that set. But I, I'm really attached to this this one right here this I think yeah I think I like that one better and then I've got some oh the washi tape has to go on um washi tape okay let's see now this this washi tape I picked I'll show you here oh it says it's carpe diem let me I'm trying to read the inside carpe diem okay that it I don't know which collection it is but it's just like little X's or crosses. I love this, and it's a turquoise background with colors. I really love this washi tape. All right, so you know what? This is coming off for now, and so are you, Mr. Hart. I think I'm going to put some washi tape down here like this, make some strips of washi tape, and I'm going to go ahead and tear it I like washi tape when it, the edges are torn, so I think I'm going to lift this up a little bit and just try to tear that off. Um, sometimes um, it's nice to have something that's not, not so straight, you know, straight across, because these are very straight across. Well, not the green one, but the other ones. So let's go ahead and see here. Put, maybe put one down here and make this one shorter. No, let's bring this one all the way to the end, like that. Okay. So how's I think that looks good. And then I was thinking, maybe just put a little piece up here. All right. Let's see. Let's right over here to incorporate this little tab in there, so it doesn't look like it's just kind of floating by itself there. Oh. Okay, like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, so that's, that's I like that background. Now, the thing is, this washi tape, you know, it's got a more glossy surface than this, so you gotta be careful what you stick it down with. I might have to use this glue again, the wet glue. So then we're gonna kinda have that, and then we're gonna have that. And then we need to put some 
some postage stamps on and I've got some different ones here that I kind of picked that I thought might go. Let me go ahead and get this cheesecloth down because I think the postage stamps and stuff is just going to be more like a little embellishment around the top and you know on top so we can scatter those or group them maybe cluster them together. So I'm just going to randomly put down the glue and then put my um, cheesecloth on it. I don't want to stick my fingers through that or they'll get really too much. They'll get really here. You know what? I can use my glue top here just to kind of dab it down and get it in there. Okay. And then I'm going to use my little die cut and put that there like that. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. This lighting is so bad. I keep saying I have to do something. I'll tell you something. By the end of July, you'll see some big changes, hopefully, because I am, um, you know, I'm only working through the end of June, and gosh, that can't come fast enough. And then um, I'll be working 100% for myself, just my antique shop and my Etsy shop, and I will have some more time to invest in improving the qualities of my videos and such and such and going back to writing my blog and you know or keeping on my blog and doing some other stuff and I'm very excited about that okay so where's the edges there I don't wanna I don't want to go over where it's there I have to keep it on this side oh that looks good okay I really like that I really like that a lot oh this is coming together a lot better than I thought when I put the elements um, in the little folder to, to um, bring with me. I, I was kind of not loving it, not loving them, but so far I really like it. I think it looks re looks really good. Okay, so now this heart, I'm wondering, we have a picture here of Queen Elizabeth. It's postage revenue. I don't know what country this is from. It's Queen Elizabeth, but I don't recognize the money. I wonder, could we, could we put her there and put the heart around her? That might be kind of cute. But no, it's kind of small. I think I need to have a group of stamps. Maybe um, I'll group some stamps together. Now I have these Danish stamps here, but they're on this brown and that's really not in here all I have is the gold green greens pink and gray so I think the Danish stamps aren't going to be used and I don't think these Chinese stamps are either well it's their American stamps but they're firecrackers I think I'm not going to use those so I think what I'm going to do is I've got kind of a gray some greens and this red one that kind of goes with that I'm going to make a group of these so I don't need the wet glue for that. I'll just you be able to use my glue stick. I think what I'm going to do, okay, this guy is, this is Spain here. Um, okay, I don't even have anything to glue on. I'll glue on the back of the stamp here. Um, I'm going to put him down and I'm going to make a cluster. And I have no idea how old these st stamps are. I know they're not worth anything. Uh, you know, they're not collectibles. This was just like some random bag of stamps I got. And I'm going to... I wonder if this is the same guy because it's also Spain. No, it, well, maybe it is. I don't know. And then... Let's see here. Put this one. Of course, and the funny thing is, none of these stamps... Are the stamps if you saw my haul my um, last haul video where I got, went to the auction and I got all those boxes and boxes of stamps for n next to nothing this is not any any of these these are stamps I already actually had and I'm just gonna put that there like that and then the Queen this is interesting because this stamp if anyone can tell me where this is from, 
I mean, obviously it was one of the English colonies, but it's stand, like it's got holes in it. It's been it's been um, pierced with some. It's I don't know, don't know where this one's from. Okay, and let's put her here like that. Okay, and then we could take the heart. Now I like it better because now she's not, it's not just that tiny stamp. And if I move it up like that, we can see this one stamp here. This Spanish stamp is uh, the Madonna and Child. If I move it just like this, I can get the Queen and the Madonna and Child in. So that's what I'm going to do. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And this little heart is also a chipboard with glitter on it, so it is quite stiff, so I'm going to have to use the wet glue if I can ever get it down. Come on, glue. Cooperate. All right, here we go. All right. Oops, put some more on this side. Okay. So let me just go ahead and position this just right to get the Madonna and Child as much as I can and the Queen in there. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. I think this is fun. I like the way it turned out. Like this. I'm just gluing this down. This wet glue takes a little bit to dry, a little bit of time. Isn't that cute? Didn't that turn out well? I really like it. I think it looks good. So let's just go ahead and real quick if we can, I hope my video doesn't turn shut off on me, um, figure out where, well, no, I'm not going to put it in the journal. I actually probably should let it dry a little bit before I put it in. But that's it, guys. And remember, all the instructions for this collaboration are be below. We still have several months to go. We have got Susan Hiles Art is doing uh, July's. Alina, Alia Depina is doing August and I am doing September and so there's still plenty of months for you to play along. I used all seven of the items here. All the instructions are below. So if like guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And please go ahead and check out the playlist and uh, watch all the other people who have put videos up and you'll see the fun different interpretations of this or just hit the hashtag in the title and it will also take you to the list of all the participants. So guys, until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.